USC 248 this Saturday, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Two title fights atop the bill. Let's talk about the second one right now, Dan Tom. I think it's a fun one at strawweight. The champ, Zhang Wai Li, looks just absolutely unbeatable on this 20-fight winning streak. Meanwhile, against kind of a resurgent Yoenian Jacek, the most dominant champion in the history of the division up to this point. So stylistically, when you put these two together, I mean, to the casual fan, I think there's a lot of similarities. I mean, they're, they're striking-based style, that sort of thing. So, I mean, is this is this coming down to, to, to the striking and who's better at that? Or, or how, how do you see this matchup and what are the key points in it? You know, I can almost kind of see that comparison you talk about, John, because in my breakdown, which you can check out at MMA, MMAJunkie.com, I pretty much compare Zhang to a fighter you pretty much built in a lab. I mean, let's 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 throw offensive guard on her. Let's throw some wrestling. Let's throw clinch strikes. Let's throw knees. Let's throw elbows and kicks. And you're right. She does have that kind of Muay Thai style like Joanna Yanjicic does on the feet. However, the biggest difference I see between these two, John, is defense. And I do think that the former champion in Yoanni and Jacek does have better defense in this matchup. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think of both as offensive. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, that could be a huge key here. Yoanni and Jacek, I think, is definitely going to stick and move if she's going to win this fight. I think Zhang has a lot of power. So uh, you like the defense. Does that mean you like Yoanna in the fight? It's going to be defense and countering, I guess, should be, will be the other caveat there. See, that, 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 that's the problem for me is that they both have good counters. Zhang Wiley, she's got a really good counter check hook. That works great for punches. However, the counter check hook doesn't work as great for leg kicks. Now, Zhang can land the leg kicks, but we haven't seen her go against a leg kicking threat. In fact, we've barely seen her go against a straight punching, jabbing threat. And as we know, what are Yoanna and Jacek's main weapons aside from the volume? She puts together that volume with her jabs and her leg kick. So for me, as much as I love Zhang, I love this rise, and, and I'm going to be rooting for her here, I still have to see her to be able to defend these things. You know, we saw her get rocked even twice in her fight with Danielle Taylor, Tisha Torres, and again, these are, these are good fighters, no disrespect to them, was also able to land a lot of counters. It's, it's really hard to see that and and and, and pick uh, Zhang to, to retain her title confidently here. It's interesting. She had such a fast rise to the title. She didn't necessarily get all the tests along the way that a typical champion might. So what do you think? Is this one going five rounds or can she can she get a stoppage? I feel like this 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 fight's going to explode in the clinch, John. I really want to see it there. I want to see what both of their elbows do to each other. I think Zhang's going to be looking for the takedown. She may even get some. However, if she can't show to bully Yoanni and Jacek in the clinch, John, I have a hard time picking her down the stretch over the course of a five round fight against a five round fighter in Yuani and Jacek. So even though Wosher Jungle are in, I'm half Chinese here, I'm actually going to be leaning toward Yuani and Jacek to get her title back by decision. Interesting. That would be fun storyline there, man. These, these, this, this could be a fun fight, man. I think USC 248 is going to be a great one. If you want to see the full homework, as you said, go to MMAJunkie.com. He's got much more thorough analysis there. And for USC 248 coverage, keep it on MMA Junkie all week long.